I felt like I could have done things a lot better. An Anderson mother is in jail tonight after her daughter's death was ruled a homicide. Her boyfriend also arrested after that little girl died Saturday due to severe injuries. CBS 4's Gabby Gonzalez spoke to that mother from inside the Madison County Jail. She has more on the family's history with DCS. Through tears, Kayla Hudson admitted she could have done more to save her daughter's life. Now she's sitting in the Madison County Jail and says she must prepare to bury the little girl instead of celebrating her second birthday. This mother walks through the Madison County Jail with handcuffs and regrets. I could have opened my eyes a little bit more, but I didn't, you know, like I didn't realize this is the person that I brought into my child's life. Her 23 month old daughter Paisley died Saturday. The coroner saying the toddler had a fractured skull, internal bleeding and too many bruises to count. And I didn't realize the severity of it until I lost my daughter. And that's when things started, you know, coming into place. Like maybe stuff was going on. Both Hudson and her boyfriend Ryan Ramirez are behind bars in connection to Paisley's death. Hudson says Ramirez watched her kids while she worked Friday night. The next morning, she says she found Paisley dead. Don't ignore things that you think are going on and don't just believe words somebody tells you. Because I believe that if that wasn't the case, you know, I my daughter would still be here today. But some say it's hard to believe Hudson was unaware of potential abuse. There were starting to become more signs, more bruises, more cuts, more marks. Clarissa Manuel regularly babysat Paisley and her older brother. Anytime I would talk to Kayla about it, she always had an excuse. Like, she fell. Clarissa says she contacted DCS twice, the last time in May when she spoke to a DCS worker in person. I had pictures on my phone. I showed her. They said that it would be dealt with. And they had three three or four open cases already pending against her. Hudson today acknowledging at least two encounters with DCS in the past, but said they didn't keep checking in even after Paisley had a fractured bone. And have they followed up with you in any way? Just no. Now formal charges in this case are still pending. The prosecutor's office was granted a 72 hour extension to do that. The deadline is Thursday at 1 p.m. We'll of course keep you updated. Reporting in Anderson, I'm Gabby Gonzalez, CBS 4 News. Gabby, thank you. A DCS spoke